thousand years old. But for 30 years, they've all been locked away in a cupboard. Well, now plans are underway to open a new visitor centre in the town, so this priceless collection can once again be seen by the public. Stuart Radcliffe has been for a look. Crammed into these boxes, internationally important items, each with its own story to tell, but until now, no one to tell them. Let me show you a few of the wonderful treasures that we've found along the way. Um, let me show you, for example, I, I've worked in museums for about 20 years, and this is the sort of thing that, that kind of left me weak at the knees. Um, just hiding on a shelf, um, we have seven fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls. So yes, these are fragments of um, leather, parchment and vellum that the, the, the biblical texts from the Old Testament were written on around the time of the life of Christ. I mean, outrageous, really, that they're just in a box. I, I know, yeah. They, they are internationally important items. It's, it's the reason why this museum just must come back online and the public must get access to these wonderful treasures. This is another remarkable treasure. This is uh, uh, nine pages of uh, a 9th century Quran. This is um, part of um, surahs 32 and 33 of, of a Quran, um, which is written only about 200 years after the Prophet Muhammad was writing the Quran in the 7th century. Now, to give you an idea of the range of things in this collection, this is a wallet which was given to Samuel Pepys in 1687. Then over here, perhaps the world's oldest underpants, these are loincloths which were worn by Egyptian slaves in 1500 BC. And this is where this incredibly diverse collection will eventually be displayed, right in the heart of Northampton. We've got a strong tradition of making boots and shoes here for over 900 years. And the whole of the leather industry really has, has gravitated here ever since. We, we teach leather at the University of Northampton. It's the only place in Europe that still teaches leather technology. And the Borough Council Museum has the largest designated collection of boots and shoes um, in Europe, if not the world. So it's a perfect place. But getting to this stage has been a long, slow process, as until recently, no one really knew what was even in the collection. Part of my job over the last 18 months has been to go through every, every object, photograph it and catalogue it. Um, and that was the voyage of discovery. Every day was like Christmas, uncovering these nationally important treasures. No chronological order to them, every day there was another surprise. And when you started doing all the cataloguing, could yeah. you believe the sorts of things that you actually had in this collection? Honestly, no. Yeah. There is a, a, a hidden challenge in here. We want to get it to the public first. We want the public to join us on our journey. And that journey begins now, with the museum looking for businesses and volunteers to help transform this space so it can welcome its first visitors in the autumn. Stuart Radcliffe, BBC Look East.